Hello and welcome back, Radar Force. Today, we are reviewing, on this episode of Product Review, 1 through 7 of the Dragon Boxes. Uh, personally, one of my favorite releases, and of course it's a fan favorite for everybody because everybody just adores the quality of these sets. And they are beautiful, but I do prefer the uh, newest uh, 30th Anniversary Blu-rays and the... Uh, Steelbook Blu-rays that Funimation released in 2020. Um, I personally like those, but now a DVD version. These are great. Yes, the crop is the crop is more accurate than the 30th anniversary crop, but who's gonna care about probably like less than two percent of a crop? Like who cares really? Come on, let's be real. Anyways, we are gonna get into the Dragon Boxes, and my I love my copies because uh, mine are all signed by the cover art. Uh, voice act actor or voice actress enough chit chat we're gonna get into this starting with volume one okay and here we have volume one of the D box um, this is this obviously has Goku on the front cover so I have Sean Schimmel uh, the voice actor for Goku in America you got his signature on the front it was a must-have this is like the one thing I wanted to have signed well, the one like I want to have all my D boxes signed by the original voice actor of the cover, and is what I that's what I did. So we have the one star ball, episodes one through forty two. Uh, as you know, this is a cropped at the four by three ratio, the original ra uh, ratio that it was on TV or in J Japan. Uh, and we have top uh, and the bottom. Yeah. And now we have <clears throat> disc one through three right here. This is the what contains the disc. And I'm not going to go through all these because they're all the same from this point on. But we have Goku on disc one, Piccolo disc two, and Gohan disc three. And uh, these these things are amazing. High quality release. It is. It really is one of the better releases. What it, it is probably the it's probably the highest quality release that we got in the United States. And if you don't know, it comes with the art book. The Dragon Book is what they call it. Uh, volume 1. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail with, you know, the artwork. But this basically has your episodes, guides, and all that stuff. And and bonus stuff in here. If you want to check that out, grab a copy. They are rare to get now. I got these uh, about six years ago. Seven to six years ago. When they were still expensive and out of print. But uh, And these are all the same. And the disc here, we got King Kai, Nappa, and Vegeta, disc four through six. And that concludes volume one of uh, the Dragon Box. And here we have uh, Dragon Box volume two, probably everybody's personal favorite, just to the pure fact Vegeta's artwork is just beautiful on here. I don't know what, what it is, but this box art looks amazing. And as you can see beside it, I have Christopher Sabat's uh, signature on it as well. And I think these look so beautiful with the signatures because you got all that yellow space that just feel, it fills in and looks amazing. Uh, I got this one signed in about 2019 along with Sean Shamels. Uh, super dope. Uh, the cover is it, just so beautiful. And the two star ball, episodes 43 through 84. And the spine here. Now let's get to the DVDs. All right, here is the DVD art uh, box art. And the DVDs inside, uh, volume seven, uh, disc seven through nine. We got Bulma, Frieza, and uh, Dende. And I do dig that the uh, DVD disc have different artworks on them. That just says a lot with the quality of this release. Uh, the Dragon Book for volume two has Frieza and Vegeta on the back. I'm not going to go into details in the book again. Like I said, you have to get get a copy for yourself or find scans online. Uh, also, this DVD box is the same as the first one. And 10 through uh, 12 on the disc, we have Krillin, Ginyu Force, and Ginyu himself on disc 12. That concludes um, Dragon Box Volume 2. And here we have Volume 3 of the Dragon Box. Uh, this one, uh, I got signed by Linda Young, which is the original uh, DBZ voice actress of it. Not the, uh, the new voice actor for Frieza in Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z Kai. Uh, this is the original DBZ actress from the 90s, uh, Linda Young. 
I actually have a video of her on my channel of um, at, um, at an amazement 2018 maybe or 2017 uh, it's got like 20k of views on my channel if you want to check that out this is that's actually the panel that I got signed got this signed at for free she was totally awesome uh, super awesome human being and uh, yeah and this is where I got it signed pretty awesome uh, we have obviously Frieza on the cover uh, third Dragon Ball for the spine episodes 85 through 126 and the spine art for this one and let's get into the DVDs and if you don't own a Dragon Box yet the smell of a Dragon Box it's, it's got its own distinct smell believe it or not it's so nostalgic for me uh, Frieza Final Form Frieza as uh, the cover of this and the DVDs itself, we have Gohan, Final Form Frieza, and Super Saiyan 1 Goku, uh, disc 13 to 15. Also, I love the art book for this one. Just all the Super Saiyans uh, up to this point. Looks pretty dope. And Frieza in the back, looking all bad -able. And the uh, disc for this set. We have our favorite Garlic Jr., Kami, and Trunks, disc 16 through 18. And that concludes Dragon Box Volume 3. Okay, and now we are on to uh, Volume 4 of the Dragon Boxes, and we have Imperfect Cell, which is voice acted by Damian Clark. I got his signed at... I got his signed in a convention. I forgot the name of the convention, actually. But I believe it was 2019. Uh, and I got Damien Clark and Stephanie Nadalny's uh, signature that same day. Uh, pretty dope. Um, but yeah, Damien Clark signed this one. And awesome. Al always, when, as I'm going to say again, an awesome human being. Uh, but yeah, Imperfect Cell. I love this artwork as well. This is another rare uh, Dragon Box to get. Volumes 2 and 4 for some reason just were hard, hard to get or more expensive. Uh, but this is episode 127 to 168. Of the Android Saga all the way to Cell Saga. And the Spine. And now let's get to the DVDs, my friend. And on the DVD case, you have Perfect Cell. And the same uh, back cover as always. And on disc, we have disc 19 through 21. We got Vegeta, uh, Android 17 and 18, and uh, Imperfect Cell. And the Dragon Book, we have Perfect Cell here. And on the back. And we have the last DVDs of Volume 4. We got Android uh, 16, Piccolo, and Vegeta Super Saiyan. With disc 22 to 24. And that concludes uh, Volume 4 of the Dragon Boxes. And here we're moving on to... Volume 5 of the Dragon Box collection, we have uh, Kid Gohan on the front, on the front, which was voiced by Stephanie Nadalny. Uh, she also did Kid Goku and, yeah, Kid Gohan. Uh, unfortunately, she does not voice act for Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Z Kai, which is, but I had to get the original, I had to get the original voice actress for um, the D-Boxes, because that's obviously who's playing it in the, um, uh, uh, audio so here we go uh spine we got volume five i think i might have said four but i meant volume five uh episodes 169 to 209 and the spine art here now let's get to the dvds my friend personally the probably the easiest d box to get uh, i'm not sure about now they're all pretty difficult but i guess the artwork was not a, was not the artwork of the cover was not as cool as the rest and we have a disc 25 through 27, uh, Super Saiyan Goku, Perfect Cell, and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, looks like. Might be Super Saiyan Gohan, not sure. I think it is Super Saiyan 1 after looking back at it. And now to disc, uh, now to the Dragon Book. This is probably my favorite uh, Dragon Book, actually, because the artwork is just beautiful. Uh, all the Super Saiyans here. And then Gohan on the back. And to the last DVDs of this box. Uh, we have uh, the Great Saiyan arc, which we have Pycon, Great Saiyan, and Videl, uh, disc 28 through 30. 
That concludes Volume 5, D-Box. Moving on to Volume 6. All right, Volume 6, we have another awesome, beautiful artwork. Uh, and it is Piccolo, our friend Piccolo. Also voiced by uh, Christopher Sabat. And I got his sign the same time I got Volume 2 signed, so that worked out for me. I got that in like 2019 at An Amazement uh, 2019. Uh, super awesome cover, Volume 6, Dragon Ball, Episodes 210 to 250. And the back. And here is the spine. Let's check out them DVDs, boys. We have our favorite Namekian Piccolo here. Same back as always. And let's open them up. We have disc 33 through, oh, excuse me, 31 through 33. I don't know why from volume 6 and volume 7, they start the episodes, they start the disc left to right instead of right to left. It's weird. But 31, 32, and 33 discs. We got Trunks, uh, Super Saiyan Gohan, and um, Deborah and Bobbity on episode, uh, disc 33. Fun fact, though, that the discs were swapped. And I'll actually prove that to you. You'll be like, oh, well, you could just rearrange the disc. But no, you can't. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, Dragon Book. Awesome artwork to pick a look. But yeah, just to prove to you guys that you can't just swap the disc around and make it work uh, is because they labeled them. I'll show you on this set right here. So yeah, uh, for volume 6 and 7, they have the disc going from left to right. Super weird. But we have uh, 34 through 36. We got Boo, uh, Supreme Kai, and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But I'm almost positive, if I take one of these DVDs out, this is disc 34, behind it, it says it requires disc 34 in this slot. See right there? So you can't actually just relabel it. Because uh, I knew that someone was going to say that in the comments below. They're going, oh, you can just re rearrange it. But no, you can't, because see, volume 36 right there. So you can't just rearrange the disc, or else it would not be proper. So, yeah, just for anybody that was wanting to talk doo-doo there. You can't do it, buddy. But yeah, that concludes volume six of the D-Boxes, and now we're on to our final D-Box. And here we have volume seven, last but not least, Super Saiyan Goku, also voiced by uh, Sean Schimmel in the US. Also got his sign the same time I got volume one signed uh, in Animazement 2019. Um, lucky to have these signatures, I, I love them. They look so good with the D-Boxes, like if you agree in the comments, uh, volume seven. Uh, episodes 251 to 291 of DBZ and the spine here let's check out them awesome DVDs we have Super Saiyan Goku out of the cover same old back and then oh my god we got a disc falling out rip alright I have a sadly I have a crack right here that's kind of why that got loose uh, anyways, we got uh, this, like I said, left to right this time, 37 through 39. Uh, we got Gotenks, Super Brew, and Vegito. And the Dragon Book. I love this Dragon Book. Super Saiyan Goku. And Kid Boo on the back. And we have our last DVD set. We have... Disc 40 to 42, we got Kid Buu. Uh, I believe that's Goku. Yeah, Goku and Oob for the last disc. And man, oh man, these are beautiful. And one more thing to note uh, is if you bought one of these brand new sealed, you get a little sleeve on the back that you'd have to peel off. It's it's that, it's that It's got a little sticky tack on the back. I kept one of mine, uh, and it comes with this. And it reads, Originally produced in limited quantities in Japan, the incredibly rare Dragon Box has long been the ultimate prize for avid DBZ collectors. Now this coveted collection has been reproduced for the first time in the United States, delivering the authentic original DBZ experience to hardcore fans. The battle to harness the power of the seven Dragon Balls explodes in vivid detail like never before. The Dragon Box features over 40 uncut episodes, remastered and restored frame by frame, rendering the legendary action in pristine clarity. Each episode is presented in Japanese with the complete opening and closing credits, and includes the original episode previews. Truly, the essential edition for Dragon Ball Z, purist. This set isn't an addition to your archive, it is your archive. Your wish is finally granted. The Dragon Box is here. I kept this because that's super dope um, that they put that in there. I just, 
I don't know why they put it in the back of the box and you have to peel it off. I wish they, like, I guess kept it inside, but I kept one of mine. Uh, it also has the barcode for it. I'm not sure which version this came off of, but unfortunately mine got tore. Uh, big rip. But yeah, I have one. Uh, that, that's something to note, though, because it's pretty dope. But yeah, that concludes the Dragon Boxes, and I will show them in one more uh, image here. Okay, and that concludes all seven D boxes. And real quick, I want to ask you guys a question: uh, if you if you have these, or do you, if you want them, or whatever, uh, which way do you like to display them, spine wise? Do you like to display them with the seven Dragon Balls or with the artwork? Because I used to keep it with the uh, spine art in the front with Goku and Gohan, but for the first four years, I finally changed it to this, and I really dig this. I don't know why. I guess it's the yellow that stands out. So I haven't really decided, but. Uh, let me know in the comments below which way you would uh, display these if you have or do not have them. Uh, but yeah, if if you are a collector of DBZ, you must get these. I know they're super expensive now, but they're doable. Just keep your eyes open and save some money. Save $50 every paycheck if you can. And eventually you'll, you'll have these super awesome sets. Uh, but if not, get the uh, 30th anniversary Blu-rays or the Steelbooks and uh, watch those because they're also very good. You will not be disappointed. But anyways, yeah, that's been it for this episode of Product Review. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see on the next Product Review. Until then, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out. Take care.